All right, so uh, I'm feeling, I just got done meditating, as you can see. Um, I'm feeling so much gratitude right now for so many things. Um, first, for feeling relief. More and more I'm feeling so much relief. And, oh, it's just incredible. Um, and, you know, and that gratitude then starts to bleed over into, like, looking at my life as it is right now and um, the friends, the community that I have around me, um, where I'm living, what I'm doing, what I'm able to do, the support, the the love, um, making new new friends and um, and, and new relationships and that are just so close that I you'd think that we were friends for you know a lifetime. Um, and, and just random things kind of falling into place with my music and, um, certain, certain, uh, adventures and things I really, really care about and I'm excited about. And it kind of got me thinking in general about how, you know, personality, when we think of like our personality, we have this attachment to it. Um, because like, what is it really like, you know, it's a, it's an idea we have of ourselves. You know, I like this. I don't like that. Um, and we, in, in a sense, we limit, we limit, um, ourselves based on that personality and not to say that it's wrong to have opinions. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this is where the personality is formed. Um, but it's also ego. And one thing I've noticed throughout this whole process, this meditation challenge, is that the more I go through this process and practice and build this foundation, the more parts, attachment to parts of my personality I thought would never change are in fact changing and growing. And there's a more, um, there's a, there's not such a rigid, um, opinion there's a lot more flow there's more consideration there's more compassion there's um and i'm recognizing that that's because of letting go of that personality the ego ideas manifestations and really just um working with whatever is allowing whatever is to just exist um i've also noticed that you know, we think of meditation as this thing that we do, this practice, it is, and it is, but the point of meditation isn't to just, like, take this time out of your day to relax. The point is to create a practice um, that essentially transcends just that time period that you're dedicating to meditation, and it um, exudes throughout your, your day and every day. So what I mean by that is um, I'm starting to feel like I'm meditating all the time. Um, when I'm walking downstairs or walking my dog um, outside or um, I've even, there's been, you know, numerous times more recently where I'm just turning off the radio in my car and I'm just very present and just allowing the sounds and the everything that's happening to, to be there. And um, it's just becoming more of a um, reality <laughs> throughout my daily life. Um, the interesting thing about that is it, it feels more and more familiar because, I keep saying this, I'm remembering who I am you will remember who you are, which is consciousness, and that you're just having this human experience. And that human experience um, doesn't define you. You are before the human experience. And you can even, in fact, once you're really in touch to that um, awareness, is when you can be creative. Um, and, and, you know, mag magnetize or attract things to you and, um, 
I'm, I'm starting to really experience that more and it's really cool. Um, I'm even grateful for the time that I had this past week of um, even the pain that I went through because it really got me, you know, it, it was it was a great um, reminder that obviously that it, that exists in this reality, this dimension, this universe, this mental piece. But I also have a choice. I can either attach to that pain and spiral out, and that's when the suffering really begins, or I can. Um, recognize that the pain is there, allow it to be, welcome it, and even in fact love it, and then it passes through me, and which it did. And then when the relief comes, it's just like, there's the, the amount of love that, that it, it like grows from that is just, it's fucking cool. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's just, that's my, that's my experience right now with this whole thing, um, this challenge. It's kind of crazy. I can't believe I'm already at what 170. I don't remember what day I'm at. I have to. I always have to look at the the day before. But I've noticed a significant change in myself. And even when I say change in myself, what, what I really want to say is I'm notice, noticing a significant um, surrender to self. Is what I'm noticing. Um, and that's, it's incredible. Yep. All right.